In this video I want to cover keywords or keyword phrases and where to find them for your blogs. Uh, I was speaking to a friend of mine a little while ago and he is a uh, sophisticated computer user. He's got his own website from which he's been blog blogging for some while and he happened to mention in passing that he sometimes struggled to come up with keywords to use in his blogs which surprised me um, because you know he, he, he's quite a smart guy and the fact is that Google tells you if you ask it what keywords to use now you do have to have an account with them an AdWords account but it's free to get so if you just come into Google and put something in like Google Keyword Planner or Google AdWords or anything like that you'll get taken to the place where you can open an account with them uh, I've already got an account so it's taking me straight in, in there but you know just to reiterate you do need to open a Google AdWords account you would normally come into the home tab here but you need to come to the tools tab click on tools and then go to keyword planner and this takes you to the area where Google will assist you to find keywords and the reason Google wants to assist you in finding keywords is because Google wants you to advertise with them um, so it's in their interest now you don't have to advertise to use this tool providing you've got an account so search for new keyword and ad group ideas so that's the one to click on and you see you get this search box on the left hand side in the uh, top part of the box you get to put the keyword or what you think the keywords might be your landing page of your website you don't have to fill that in product category you don't have to fill that in the only one you might think about filling in apart from the um, root keyword as it were that you that you might uh, come up with is location um, certainly if you were advertising you would make your uh, uh, ad advertisements uh, geo-targeted uh, you wouldn't try and sell a second-hand car in the UK by by putting adverts you know all around the world for instance but you may have products that that are applicable to around the world type sales and as for keywords just for the point of a blog it may not make any difference so we'll leave it at uh, all locations for now and I'm going to search for solicitors now solicitors I think in America they always call them lawyers but we use lawyer and uh, solicitor pretty much uh, interchangeably I think <laughs> uh, let's search for solicitor and then put a comma and then search for um, power of attorney so that's a service that um, solicitors offer if you've got a sick relative Ooh. So I'm just going to click on the get ideas box <coughs> button rather and this is what Google comes up with and it separates them out into ad groups here in blue down the left hand side and then keywords on their own under under the heading keywords um, so uh, the reason it's separating them out into ad groups is because if you're running an advertising campaign under uh, f from from Google AdWords um, you sometimes break up the campaign into separate sets of advertisements um, for us it doesn't really matter because we're just looking for keyword ideas but um, let's click on the first one and this ad group is office of the solicitor whatever that is so people are searching for it anyway but we're not particularly interesting interested so if we go back legal power let's click on that one Little legal power here we are so here's some uh, searches that people are doing and the figure is per month the the uh, per month search so legal power of attorney around the world 390 people are searching for that phrase now just to build interest in your website um, it might be okay to use phrases that are, that are used all around the world so you might create a post with legal power of attorney as the keyword or key phrase in your blog post so let's look down there not much more of interest there so let's I can either click on this back button to go um, back to look at the groups or I can click here and this will take me straight to the next group so this one documents power that's uh, okay um, power of attorney document here 720 searches monthly so you might consider creating a blog post around that um, 
bear in mind it's sometimes useful or very often useful to niche down when you're picking keywords Cert certainly it can be for advertising uh, but also for blog posts as well because uh, for the very powerful very dominant keywords you're obviously going to have a lot of competition particularly if people are searching for this key phrase from all around the world um, you know if you're a new or a small website you you might be better off picking key phrases that uh, less websites are competing for uh, like this one legal documents power of attorney that's a bit of a clunky one but nevertheless a power of attorney let's forget that one let's go and look at the next group uh, nothing very exciting in there here see this is an alternative expression durable power of attorney uh, this people have been searching for forms here but 3600 searches a month medical dur durable power of attorney quite a decent number searching for that um, let's go down further let's look at the next group um, where can I get power of attorney see that that could be a heading for a blog post it's niche down there's only 120 people uh, 110 people looking for that world worldwide but nevertheless it might pull you in some punters for your website let's keep looking POA I wouldn't use that because it's an acronym that has other you know other meanings for price on application for instance so forget that one and POA form forget all of these durable POA might be one worth considering um, let's go and carry on looking special power of attorney I wouldn't put the forms in it in a blog post name uh, although you might you might do a blog post about where to get the forms from anything to draw attention to your website if, if nobody else is doing it you know that could be a killer uh, key phrase power of attorney letter there you are I see would you have considered using a key phrase like that if you hadn't have seen it here there are a lot of people looking 880 per month for that that search phrase power of attorney letter um, let's just carry on a little bit more general power of attorney form medical power of attorney don't know what that is really elder law attorney well I don't know um, but the, you get the point I think that um, this is a place to come and get ideas for key phrases and just remember that all I've looked at there if you happen to be a solicitor looking for things to blog about I've only selected one you know little slice of the law um, if we put um, house conveyancing you get ideas for that as well so if I say get ideas, let's have a quick look. <clears throat> okay, that's a good one. Look, conveyancing solicitor, 590 searches a month. Solicitors conveyancing, solicitor conveyancing. Let's go into the next ad group up here. Not very sexy low cost conveyancing of course price comes into it conveyancing fee there you go write a blog post about your conveyancing fees um, there's a high one solicitors fees for buying a house so this is the way to come up with your keyword phrases and the way that people very often um, do this is that they know they're going to blog say once a week so they'll come into the keyword planner and they'll come up with say 10 key phrases that are not too highly competitive competitive but not so low as to you know make an insignificant audience and they'll come up with 10 maybe 20 keyword phrases and then that's done now then for the next 20 weeks of blogging you know what you're going to be blogging about they're kind of on your mind as well those keyword phrases so every time you come across some material that might be useful for your blog for any given phrase you may uh, make a note of where to find that if it's material you found on the internet and start saving it ready for use for blogging. So that is how to find your keyword phrases. Hope it's been useful.